How are you doing guys? Uh, my name is Joe Campbell. I'm here today from Alliance Pet Insurance to give a quick talk about the benefits of, of an Alliance Pet Insurance policy. Um, Alliance offer um, seven main benefits to their policy as outlined here and I'll take you through them a bit more but I suppose really the whole point of, of pet health insurance is to provide um, pet owners access to the best treatment they, they need without the, the cost restrictions. So that really leads us to the very first one here, veterinary fees cover. Veterinary fees cover is offered by our policy at €4,000 a year. For vet fees against illness or injury, it doesn't cover the routine stuff like vaccinations, wormers, nutrient spay, okay? It covers other things like referral work if the treatment isn't available at your local veterinary practice and you need to be referred on to a centre of excellence, by all means you can with our policy. Some things to remember that aren't covered under our policy is anything to do with pregnancy or, or pregnancy related illnesses specific or, or medicated diet foods that your vet may prescribe if, if your pet is obese, has diabetes or other things like that. And it doesn't cover the cost of, of um, putting your pet to sleep, should unfortunately that, that, that uh, aspect come. Another important benefit of our policy, and especially for dog owners to remember, is that with our policy you cover for third party liability up to €250,000 a year, should your pet cause an injury or an, or an accident to somebody else, or damage somebody else's property such as going to next door's house, chew their couch, scratch your car, anything like that at all. Um, with, that, with that benefit in our policy, you're covered with 250,000 euros a year. You pay the first 350 euros of the bill in that case. Another one to remember, and it's not in case you just go on holidays. If you happen to fall ill or if you're unable to look after your pet and you have to go into hospital for four days or more, you can look to put your pet into a boarding facility and aliens will happily step in and cover the cost of that bill. Death from illness or injury. It's one of the more of the benefits of the policy that people don't really want to think about. But in the event that your pet should die from an illness or an injury, or if it happens to be stolen or stray, with our policy you can look to claim back the value of your pet up to a maximum of thousand euros. There are some small criteria for that, but if it does happen, feel free to contact our, contact our office and we'll happily take you through the process. Advertising and reward is one of those unusual benefits that when people see it, they don't really know what it's about. If your pet is stolen or if it does stray from your property and you want to advertise or offer reward, there is cover there up to 500 euros. You can put up posters in your local neighborhood, go to your local paper if you have to. That type of stuff is covered under our policy. The most unusual benefit and the one that people do definitely get confused by is holiday cancellation. If within seven days of you going on holidays, something happens to your pet and you have to cut your holiday short, you can look from ourselves to reimburse up to, seven, up to 1,000 euros towards the cost of your holiday. That means that if your pet goes missing, if it falls ill and your vet need to, recommends that it needs life-saving treatment and you have to cut the holiday short, um, you, you can look for reimbursement from ourselves. With our policy, we cover dogs and cats only, um, but we break them down when it happens into pedigrees, select breed dogs, cross breeds and uninsurable breeds. Quickly what I'll take you through here is a list of the select breeds because most people won't actually know what they are and just to highlight what the common un uninsurable breeds are. So the select breeds are generally what would be classed as the giant breeds up here. They are standard large breed dogs. They are Irish Wolfhound, your Saint Bernard, your Bulldog, your Mastiff breeds. These dogs, with ourselves, incur a slightly higher premium because simply when they arrive to your veterinary practice, they generally cause that little bit more to treat. The uninsurable breeds, there's only about seven of them and there's only about three of them that you may actually come in contact with. The most common one is here highlighted in black, it's the American Pit Bull Terrier. Unfortunately, we don't offer cover for this breed due to the temperament of the dog. The other common one that people may come across is actually a racing greyhound. We won't cover a racing greyhound because generally in that situation, those dogs are of high value and are purely for, for an occupation purposes. They're not a pet. But if you do happen to own a retired greyhound or a pet greyhound, by all means, feel free to contact aliens. Um, the other breeds that are up there are just for your own, record, for your own records. And while you're on the website here, if you do want to get a quote for your insurance, by all means, feel free to go to www.alliance.ie and you can get a quote.